Hello again, favorite students. For those of you who are looking for a bit of an extra explanation, I'm going to walk us through question number one in your notes pack. So this is the mild question, number one. It says that a car starts at 10 meters per second and accelerates at a rate of five meters per second squared. And you've got to add meters per second squared. That's a small typo again on that one. How long will it take the car to reach a velocity of 45 meters per second? Show the full OK team method. So we're going to start with observe. Read the problem. That's kind of what I already did. I understand what's happening. There's a car and it's driving. It's going to speed up. We want to know how many seconds will it take to reach 45 meters per second. Now I've got to read through. So observe. Check. Now I have to read through and figure out what are my knowns? What does the problem tell me? So, a car starts at 10 meters per second. I know that my starting velocity, or my initial velocity, 10 meters per second. And I have to write the symbol and the number. And accelerates at 5 meters per second squared. So my acceleration equals 5 meters per second squared. Again, symbol equals number. How long will it take to reach 45 meters per second? If that's what I'm going for, that's what my velocity will be at the end of the problem. So my final velocity, 45 meters per second. So I know all of my knowns. What has the problem given me? Now I have to figure out what are my targets, or what is my target. So the car starts at 10 meters per second. It accelerates at 5 meters per second squared. How long will it take? So I see here, how long will it take? I know that that is asking me about time. How many seconds will it take? So I write T as my target. Now I have to choose an equation. I need something that includes all of my knowns, my target, and nothing else, nothing that I don't have. So I look through here, I see initial velocity, acceleration, final velocity, and time. And if I look over here at my first equation, I see initial velocity, Final velocity, so final velocity, initial velocity or starting velocity, acceleration, and time. So this has all of my knowns, my target, and nothing else. It does not have position. So I'm going to write that equation. Vf equals V0 plus A. T. So my equation is done. Now I have to do some algebra. So I've got to rearrange this equation because I want my target of time. So I need t equal to something because that's my target. I've got to have my target equal. So I've got to get t all by itself over here. So the way I'm going to do that is the first thing I've got to do is I've got to take my initial velocity over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract initial velocity and subtract initial velocity. And that's going to give me final velocity minus initial velocity equals acceleration times time. So I know that this is my first step. Now the next thing that I have to do to get t by itself is divide acceleration by both sides. And then I have final velocity minus initial velocity divided by acceleration equals time. And so I have time equal to something. That's what I needed. And now I'm just going to plug in all of my numbers. So my final velocity, 45, 
minus my initial velocity, 10 divided by my acceleration, 5, and that's going to give me 7 seconds. So I know that my answer, sorry I ran out of space a little bit, is 7 seconds.